Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and I am back with another Traveler's Notebook process. And I'm using my kit from the Wild Hair Kits for September to document some of these photos from my sister and I doing the color run last month. And so it is super, super fun. Uh, I had tons of pictures to document, but what I'm gonna show you here is that I actually took apart my Traveler's Notebook insert and ring bound it because it was just getting way too full and I wanted to have all of our summer adventures in one notebook insert so I have a video I think it's already out if it's already out I'll link it down below showing how I uh, turn one of these inserts into a ring bound insert so no it doesn't fit into a traveler's notebook system any longer um, but it allows me to I don't know stick lots of chunky things in there and then you can see I can pull out pages to work on them I can insert pages so I, it's just gonna work a little bit better for me so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the pages I'm working on and so since I have so many photos I'm gonna create this photo pocket uh, insert page so what I have here is a scrap piece of um, page protector and I'm gonna cut it down to the size of one of my uh, travelers notebook pages which I think is about, it's about eight and a quarter by four and a quarter ish. <laughs> it just depends on which traveler's notebook insert I'm using. And then I am gonna go ahead and punch holes on one edge using my planner punch board. This did not work great. I used this punch board to punch the holes originally in my traveler's notebook insert. However, they're not really good at punching through this plastic. So I pulled out my crocodile and tried you know, cleaning it up with that. That didn't go through either. So um, this was a lot of work. So if you wanna bypass all of this, I'm gonna link down below. I found some inserts like this from Tim Holtz. I'll try to find some from some other companies and link them down below for you guys. Um, it was kind of a lot of work to make my own like photo sleeve for this insert. And I, I don't know that it was, it was worth it because it was fun, but I will definitely be just buying them from here on out. So I'm gonna be using a fuse tool to create all of the fused areas on the sleeve. So I'm running a fused line on both sides of the holes that I punched. And then the opposite long side of this uh, photo pocket here was already a closed edge because it was the closed edge of the page protector. So. I'm gonna make sure that this lines up right. And so basically right now I have like a tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and also fuse the bottom of this page. And so now I have one giant pocket. So you could put one giant photo in there. You could fill it with sequins, but we're gonna divide this up a little bit. So I have these photos that I printed out. Um, they're three inches by three inches. And so I have a little bit of room in this sleeve to add a pattern paper mat to this photo. So I'm gonna use some of these papers from the Willow, the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection that were sent to me in my wild hair kit this month. And I had mentioned when I ordered my kit that I was gonna be doing the color run and that it was unicorn themed and the curators were amazing and sent these papers that have all these fun colors, but they also have those kind of whimsical unicorns in them. So I was thinking I was gonna get like Lisa Frank style uh, unicorns, which is fine. You can see my sister and I are wearing unicorn horn headbands and tutus, but I love these unicorns from the Maggie Holmes collection because um, it's just kind of a, I don't know, a more grown-up version, I guess. Not that they're grown up, but it's just a different version of unicorns, I guess. So I'm going to make sure that this will fit in the bottom of that pocket. And it is going to. So I need to close off a bottom space. So I'm going to cut a piece of cardstock to the same dimensions as my matted photo. So it ends up being, I think like three and eight by three and eight or three and a quarter by three and a quarter, something like that. Um, making sure it's the same size as my photo. I'm gonna stick that down into my sleeve and then I'll go ahead and fuse a line along the top of this uh, piece of cardstock. So you can see I am working on a piece of cardstock to protect my surface from a fuse tool. It's very, very hot. I'm also using a metal ruler. If you use a regular ruler, the fuse tool may melt it. So you just wanna be careful. So I'm just making sure I get this lined up. And basically I'm gonna trap that piece of cardstock into the bottom of this page. But don't worry, we're going to free it here in just a second. Now I've sped this up two times. So when you're using the fuse tool, you do want to go 
kind of slow, but not too slow. You just gotta work with it to figure it out. So now just below that fused line, I'm gonna go ahead and take a craft knife and cut a little slit. Now I know it's super hard. I try to turn down the lights in this video, but I'm working on white on white on white. So it's just hard to see what I'm doing, but um, I'm using that craft knife to cut a little slit just below the fused line. And by having that cardstock in there, that's gonna keep you from cutting the slit all the way through. Cause I'm only wanting to cut a slit through the front part of the plastic. And that's gonna allow you to be able to remove that cardstock and stick that photo in there. So it's gonna be a little photo pocket down at the bottom here. Now you can see that'll perfectly fit in there. And then I have my other photo. I went ahead and matted on some more of that six by eight paper. And in between those photos, I'm gonna create a little section like that's a shaker pocket with these uh, sequins that I got in my kit this month. So I'm gonna dump those in there. You do wanna be careful to not overfill this pocket. Uh, I ended up overfilling it in my uh, fused seam actually popped open so I did off camera have to completely remake this entire page um, so you want to make sure you don't fill it too full but I really wanted to incorporate these fun sequins that she threw in there um, just because you can see my photos have tons and tons of colors I think they just go so well with this whole color run theme but I don't want them getting loose and making a mess so I'm going to trap them in their own little pocket here so I'm making sure that I have room for my top photo and then I'll go ahead and fuse a line along the top of the sequins. So now the sequins are completely enclosed in the plastic and can't escape. And it has this kind of fun shaker element to this sleeve here. And this is a great way to add additional photos. You know, for an event like this where I had a lot of photos, I wanted to make sure that I could get all of those into a spread all together. So it's kind of a fun way of, you know, to insert a page like this. So I'm gonna set that aside for a second and start working on these pages. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere down some of this pattern paper from that collection again. And like I said, this is kind of the nice thing about having it ring bound is I can pull those pages out and adhere things to them um, and work on them separate. You know, as this insert was getting super, super chunky, it was getting difficult to put things on the paper and stamp and write and all these kind of things because it was getting just so chunky and full. And that's because I like to use dimensional elements. And so now that it's ring bound, it's got plenty of room to expand and grow and I can pull things out and work on it kind of on its own there. So uh, if you're not familiar with what a color run is, it is super fun. So off to the right here, those photos, those three by three photos, the top photo is our before photo and the bottom photo is our after photo. So we dressed up fun. Um, this was something that was in or on my bucket list forever was to do one of these color runs. And I saw that they had one in the Bay area close to my sister. And so I roped her in, asked if she would do something crazy with me and she was all about it. So we dressed all up fun. There's lots of people that dress up, but there's a lot of people that don't dress up, but we were going to go all out. So I made us some t-shirts. Mine says we'll run for cupcakes. Her says we'll run for chicken nuggets. And we bought tutus and these unicorn horn headbands. And it's the perfect time to bust out all that makeup that you never wear. That's got all the glitter and bright purples and <laughs> crazy things like that. And um, basically it's a 5k marathon. And at every kilometer they have a station set up with volunteers who throw colored cornstarch powder on you um, and each station is a different color so the idea is to wear like white clothing or light colored clothing and um, at the end of the run you're completely covered in color and then after you go through the finish line they have an area where there's like music and an MC and he's throwing out color packets to the crowd and you're throwing more color on each other and it's just a giant mess. So you can see in that after photo at the bottom there, you are just completely covered in this colored dust. It is so fun. Um, and there was lots of kiddos there. You can run it, you can walk it, you can um, do whatever you want. It's not like a formal marathon or anything like that, but you do get a fun little unicorn medal at the end. Um, and right before the finish line, this photo of my sister, there's this um, bubble machine that's spraying bubbles all over the place. So you actually run through that, your giant sticky mess, and then you run through the giant colored mosh pit at the end. So you are just completely, completely covered. It is super messy. 
Um, we decided this is going to be something that we do annually. We're going to do every year. We're going to dress up different every year. It was just so, so much fun. Um, we loved it. It was just kind of fun to get all dressed up. And we did run part of it, not all of it. <laughs> but we had tons of photos. We stopped and took tons of photos. You just have to be careful because, like I said, there is that colored dust. And so we're trying not to get it into our cameras and things like that. But it was a lot of fun. And so when I ordered my wild hair kits for this month, I did mention that we were going to do the color run and that it was unicorn themed. And so that's how I ended up with all these papers and products that would kind of go along with that. So off camera there, you can see I went ahead and finished up the back of those photos. You could add more photos to the back, but I just used some of the scraps of the pattern papers and then also used that today was the best ever sticker from the Crate Paper Wild Heart Collection. That was actually in my kit last month, but I did go ahead and pull that out to work with this month. And this top pocket was a little bit loose, and so I was afraid I was going to lose that photo. So I am going to go ahead and just add some washi tape from my stash just to seal it in. I can still remove that and switch out the photo if I need to, but this way it makes sure that that photo doesn't just accidentally fall out. Uh, above the photo of my sister, you can see I have some journaling laying there. And just like all my past videos, I printed out all my journaling on cardstock and then off camera, I'll go ahead and cut it into strips and adhere it down to that area on the page. I went ahead and took that out of the video just because I've done it so much. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen how I do that, but. I'm going to add some washi tape to the bottom um, just to kind of reinforce that fused line and uh, make sure that I don't lose any photos over time. I don't want anything to fall out of here. And I mean, it's a color run, so it's an excuse to use everything gold and sparkly and shiny and colorful and crazy. And so typically I print my color or print my photos in black and white, but with this spread, you can see there was so much color in my photos and they went really well with the colors of papers and things that were sent. So I went ahead and left them color so you can just see all that fun there. On the bottom here I am going to go ahead and take the thickers from the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection. These were in my kit also and you can see again those are colors that match the papers I've used and I had not actually done the run yet when I ordered my kit and so it just so happened that all of these products were colors that match the colors in our photos and the things that we were wearing and so it was perfect. I did take the that O is actually a Q that I turned upside down. That way I could pull some more of that coral color in because I didn't really have it anywhere else on the spread. And I did back my photos with some uh, tissue paper just to soften that orange color of that paper. Added some sequins to fill in the white areas and then now I've gone ahead and pulled back out those Wild Heart cardstock stickers and I'm just going to add those in a few places to finish off details with those photos. There's already a lot going on but more is better, right? So just stick it all on there. And having this extra page. So basically I'm almost working on two double page spreads essentially by having this clear pocket in there. So I can really use up a lot of products, use plenty of photos, big photos, and really just get a lot of things down for this, um, like documenting this moment. On the back side here, I'll go ahead and add this wild at heart sticker just to kind of finish it off. I love how that paper had that unicorn. I want to make sure that I got some of that in this spread. And now I can stick everything back into my insert. I will add the date down at the bottom here. And then I can just pop everything in. I did skip a page in this insert because I have another photo that's chronologically before this that I haven't documented yet. But um, that's the other nice thing is you can kind of skip around, jump around, move things around however you want. So that is it. I will have everything that I use linked down in the description box down below. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the blog post for more up close photos of this project. Uh, head on over to the Wild Hair Kits and get your kit ordered and have fun crafting. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.